In 2016, the Royal Mail released this souvenir stamp pack celebrating the 150th anniversary of the birth of Beatrix Potter, one of the world's best-loved children's authors. The six stamps that were released feature the original illustrations from her series of books about Peter Rabbit. So let's take a look inside this souvenir stamp pack and see what it's about. All right, this is the first page and we can see an image of a young Beatrix Potter alongside a couple of her illustrations. Peter Rabbit on the left, and I'm not too sure which rabbit is on the right. Maybe Benjamin Bunny, who knows? I don't know if you're able to make out the text there. It says Beatrix Potter was a children's author and illustrator, natural scientist, farmer, and preservationist. The series of 23 original Peter Rabbit books has been translated into more than 45 languages and over 2 million Beatrix Potter titles are sold each year. And then down here we've got quite a substantial write-up about Beatrix herself. I'll zoom in as much as I can so hopefully you'll be able to read all about her. There you go, I'm not too sure whether you're going to be able to make that print out or not, I can't quite make it out through the little viewfinder I have on my camera but hopefully you'll be able to read it. So this would be a great time to pause the video and uh, read all about Beatrix herself. Right, let's take a look at this second card from the pack. Are you able to see that? Beatrix Potter, a signature at the top, Peter Rabbit in the middle, and then running all down the sides here. I think we have the original illustrations from the books. And there it says, on the 4th of September 1893, Beatrix Potter wrote to Noel Moore, I don't know what to write to you, so I shall tell you a story about four little rabbits. And let me bring that up closer. Pause the video right now if you want to read that. All right, all I've done is flip the card over. We can see this uh, written text at the top here. Beatrix Potter conceived some of her best loved tales, not for publication, but to amuse real children. She was an intuitive verbal and visual storyteller and a passionate observer of the natural world. Her series of 23 little tales, elegantly written and exquisitely illustrated, continues to delight both children and adults the world over. And here we can see the six stamps that were released by the Royal Mail. We'll take a closer look at those in a second. And then we have a little bit about each story that the stamp refers to. So we've got the tale of Peter Rabbit, the tale of Miss Tiggywinkle, Squirrel Nutkin, Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny, and the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at the actual stamps on this card. There they all are. So on the top left, there we've got Peter Rabbit in his blue jacket. A first class stamp alongside him. This is Tiggy Winkle. Again, a first class stamp. Squirrel Nutkins is a £1.33 stamp, as is the Jemima Puddle Duck. And then finally, at the bottom, we have the Tom Kitten at £1.52, and Benjamin Bunny at the same price there. Bring them up so you can have a better look at them.
Well, there we go. That was the Royal Mail's effort when it came to releasing stamps to celebrate the life's work of Beatrix Potter in 2016. Now then, in the same year that the Royal Mail released these stamps, the Royal Mint was not to be outdone, and they released five 50 pence coins showing a Beatrix Potter design on the reverse of each. And here they are. I've placed them in the order of release, starting with this one on the left here, this commemorative coin. Then we move on to Peter Rabbit, Jemima Puddle Duck, Squirrel Nutkin, and Mrs. Tiggy Winkle there. I will zoom in on each individual coin and have a quick chat about them, just so you can see a bit more of the detail. Does that help? I'm not sure whether it does. Anyway, we've got her name, Beatrix Potter, in the center there. The image of her, which I think was taken from that photograph, used in the souvenir stamp pack. We have the year that she was born, 1866, and the year she died, 1943. At the bottom here, we can see the image of Peter Rabbit. And to the left and right of the coin, we've got some lovely plant-like scroll work on the coin itself. Let's move on to the second coin now. All right, now we're looking at Peter Rabbit, probably her most famous creation. As we can see, he's staring directly at us. In some coins, he has an extra whisker, I think, here. All right, just there. I think that was due to a fault in the die casting of the coin. Now, some people have listed that particular coin with that extra whisker onto online auction sites and have asked for a ridiculous sum of money just because of that small error. If you have been collecting these Peter Rabbit coins, don't be fooled by that one. It really isn't worth the money that they're asking. Anyway, let's move on to the next coin. And it's that of Jemima Puddle Duck. Now with the last coin, the Peter Rabbit one, I mentioned the error with the extra whisker and how people are trying to fleece other people into buying it for an extortionate amount of money. This coin here, is one of the more valuable coins in the Peter Rabbit series. Only 2.1 million of these were minted back in 2016, which when you think about it, is still quite a high mintage figure. But despite that, it does command quite a decent price online and regularly fetches around about 10 pounds on the online auction sites. So that's not a bad return for a 50 pence piece, eh? Up next we have Squirrel Nutkin, there's not a lot I can really say about this one, it's not my favourite design, it's just an okay coin and was part of the 2016 release. And then finally we have the Mrs Tiggywinkle coin. All of the reverse sides of this set of coins was designed by Emma Noble and in a future video or two we'll take a look at the remaining Beatrix Potter coins, that completes the set. All right, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these Beatrix Potter related stamps and 50 pence coins. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and please do give this video a big thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for joining me if you have and until the next one, Bye for now.